During this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add multiple fields to your opt-in forms inside of InstaBuilder 2.0. So for example, here I am on a squeeze page right now. And as we can see, all we have is the email address that we are collecting. You know, perhaps we want to collect more information from our subscribers, maybe their name, maybe their address or zip code, their phone number, whatever it may be. Maybe we want to add more than just the email address. Well, the way we're going to do that is we're going to head over here to my AWeber account. And all we have to do is add the information that we would like to collect to our web form that we are creating. And once we do that, InstaBuilder is going to automatically pull that information for us. So here we are right now. All I have is my name and email. And let's say I would like to add, you know, their address. Maybe I want their city. Maybe I want their street. You know, let's get rid of state. Let's do that right there. I want their street, city, and zip code. Okay. So I'm going to save that. And now we have all these different fields. I'm going to go to step two here. I'm going to go to step three. Let me save my form here. And all we need to do is grab our HTML code. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to head back over here to my InstaBuilder. I am going to click inside of my opt-in form here. Click on the gear symbol. Over here on the right-hand side, once this menu pops up, we are going to click on the HTML code. We are going to paste it and then click on process. There we go. So I'm going to head back over here. And we are going to extend this a little bit now to make up for all the fields that we added, just like that there. And now we have our name, email, street, city, zip code. Now we might want to change the name of these. Maybe I don't want it to say street two. Maybe I don't want that to say city. And maybe I also want to add some icons. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to go to the opt-in form fields. We're going to click on manage fields. And from here, this is where we can change our information for the label. Instead of street two, I could say address maybe, you know, zip code will keep it the same. If you would like to add some icons, we can do that. I'm going to make this first name actually. Make this a email address. Let's add some icons here. A user icon for the email address. We will add a mail icon. And we will leave those without icons. The email, make sure we put is email over here for that one. Are they required? Up to you, yes or no. I'm going to require the name and email, but we will leave our the address optional. And I'm going to click on save. And once we save it, we can see that we have our field names have changed. We have first name, email address. We have these little icons over here. And just like that, InstaBuilder has linked up with our autoresponder and included all the additional fields that we needed for our opt-in page.